everyone, welcome to Dining with Diamonds. My name is M, and today we have another unboxing. <laughs> so, every time I do that, I laugh because it's just so ridiculous to me, but I have so much fun doing it, so that's why I do it. <laughs> so it is early in the morning. Not early, it's still early for my standards. In my opinion, it's early. It's around, it's a quarter to 11. And this just arrived at my doorstep. And I cannot believe how fast this got here. <laughs> so this is a diamond painting from Royal Diamond Painting. Now this is a company I've never ordered from before. I never even heard of them until literally two weeks ago. That's when I ordered this painting, two weeks ago. And it shipped from China like five days ago and is now on my doorstep. And now the price of this painting makes sense. <laughs> so this is from Royal Diamond Painting. I discovered them from another diamond painter on Instagram, Elaine Diamond Paints. I believe that's her handle. I don't know. I'll put the right handle down here. Editing Emily will have to do that um, to make sure that it's correct. If it's not correct, you won't see anything. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, if it is correct, you won't see anything. Holy moly. I haven't even had my coffee yet. And I'm like, blah, blah, blah. so <laughs> um, yes. And I saw that she bought the same painting that I am holding here in my hands. It is the same painting and I was like I have to have that <gasps> and I did some digging and um, just to see if this was a licensed company because I don't like to purchase images that aren't licensed and from my digging it seems that um, Haley the owner of this company uh, uses stock images and licenses stock images so I was like cool I love that so I went ahead and bought from them. Now I'm gonna stop rambling because I want to show you this painting and I want to get into this because this is a place I've never ordered from before. So this will be a new experience for me and my first impressions are gonna be important because this was not cheap, but shipping was so fast that I believe that that is where a lot of that cost comes from. Okay, we have our drills. We have our little toolkit, standard toolkit. Very nicely presented though. We've got a squishy and a pen. The pen is actually in the squishy already. We've got tweezers, we've got wax, some baggies, and our little boat. So there's that. And here are our drills. These are very nicely packaged. Very nicely packaged, actually. Um, they come in like the AliExpress type bags that you see from AliExpress paintings. And so they've got like they're little bags. I'm not a huge fan of these bags, but it's fine. They're gonna be put in a container anyway when I work on it. So this canvas has 70 colors, 70. So that that is that is a little insane. Oh, ooh, it's very tightly wound. Okay, so I'm gonna use, is there anything else in here? Oh, is there another bag? There is, we've got more. Oh, Ugh. this image this image. So this, that is the image that I purchased. It is a 70 by 70 square painting. Um, it even looks like they made sure I had all the drills because they have tally marks next to them. That's really cool. Very nice. These pretty blues are like killing me. So <laughs> we're gonna, I'm gonna need a pair of scissors to cut this tape off and I'm gonna be careful not to rip the package open. So I needed to grab scissors so I could cut open the tape on this painting without hopefully damaging the paint. Hello, who is texting me? <laughs> it's probably my boyfriend actually. So I'm gonna try to figure out, okay, I wanna cut the painting. All right, so that took a hot minute because I was nervous about damaging this painting. <laughs> but obviously trying to take a look at the drills. Um, again, I don't like these types of baggies, so. It'll be a little bit of an annoying thing to get it back into the bag, but again, we have 70 colors in this kit. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope I have it the right way. I do. So again, I got this in a 70 by 70. She's so pretty. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. So if you don't know, I love mermaids. I am a mermaid lover. I just, I, I love mermaids. And this image was like, oh, I need it. So this is a very confetti heavy image. Well, I'm gonna, 
roll it back this way. We'll talk about the canvas as well too and the symbol clarity and all that. Well, cool. okay, so, oop, that's the wrong way. So we're gonna talk about all the fun stuff about this canvas. I literally realized as I was rolling this out to flatten it that I half expected this to be double-sided adhesive and it's not, it's poured glue. It's poured glue. So that's a plus. That is so, so, so amazing. Um, I also want to say, I know we're a little deep into this video, but if you see skips or cuts or, you know, weirdness going on where I went from talking about one thing to another thing, it's because I either stumbled over my words or just paused for a really long period of time. And I don't want that in the video. So that's why that's there. So I'm sorry if that bothers you. I don't know. But okay, so this is a thicker canvas. This isn't like a Diamond Art Club soft canvas backing. It is a thick canvas. Um, also, as I'm looking at it, the symbol clarity looks really, really good for the most part. <laughs> there is some weirdness, I think, in some of these symbols. The A looks a little splotchy. I'll bring you up in here so you can see. Look how cute she is! Let's take a good look the symbols they don't look terrible they actually look pretty good so i'm happy about that again this is a canvas with 70 colors uh some little things about royal diamond painting they have you actually pick the sizes that you want and you can choose whether you want your painting in round or square which i thought was really nice i did get my painting in square um because i felt like this had so much detail um, and while I'm a little hesitant to try um, new places with square drills, um, I really felt it was necessary for the uh, amount of uh, detail in this painting because there was a lot of detail in this painting. Should I go through these drills? Maybe we should. Maybe we'll just look at the um, maybe we'll just look at the ledger. This is very nicely presented. I am very, very happily surprised. Um, I've seen some videos or unboxings of this company and some of the drills looked kind of like a mess and some of like stuff just didn't look totally fantastic, but they definitely must have changed either where they shipped from or their factory because it looks really good. It got here so quick. So he's Curious Mermaid. The name is Curious Mermaid. She's got 70 colors. Look at how cute she is! I love it so much! I really like these types of ledgers because it tells you how many drills are in each bag. And it tells you... Does this tell you how many bags? Yes, it does. It tells you how many um, bags of each uh, drill color should be in your kit. So like 150 here has four bags. So we can check that. They obviously checked this for us, it seems, um, because there's tally marks next to them. And I think that's really nice. I'm very pleasantly surprised and I'm happy that this is what <laughs> how it is because of the price. So I feel like I definitely got the bang for my buck. Um, but I won't know the true, you know, if I really got the value um, that I paid for until I do it because that's that's where that's where the price comes in if I do the painting and it does does not look good then yeah or there's a lot of trash drills then we'll have a little post review talk about it but the rendering looks so good she looks so good I almost considered getting her in an 80 by 80 because um I felt like that would give like the most detail, but I thought a 70 by 70 was a good size and I didn't want to spend the extra $20 to get her in an 80 by 80. I also don't have enough drill containers to do an 80 by 80. So there's that, but I love her. I totally got sidetracked and forgot I was filming a video and I was just like scrolling my phone, doing my own thing. And guys, it's early and I have not drank my coffee to completion yet. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's not good. I'm so sorry. You won't know any different because I cut it all. But <laughs> so you know what? I think I decided we are going to look at one bag of these drills. Um, or like 
We're going to look at the drills because I want to see. Oh, no. Well, well, yeah. Then I, oh, oh, oh. Okay. I, I, I was nervous that might happen. Okay, so it seems like all of the colors are already cut out and separated for me by color. So that's good because at least they're nicely organized. But, uh, okay, so maybe we won't go through this because this'll, this'll mess me up. This'll give me a lot of anxiety trying to put back together. So we're gonna look at a, just a couple of the bags and look at the drill quality of them. So this is 3705 and the drills look very nice in there actually very nice i don't know if you can see but i want to look at a darker color though because darker colors usually have the trash in them so it seems like a decent amount of these have a teeny tiny hole at the bottom of them i don't know if you can see it it's usually at the bottom of the drill that they have like a little hole in it Usually the this tiny hole at the bottom of a drill doesn't mess up the painting significantly. But it's not totally flat at the bottom, some of them. But that's not a huge deal. Um, it's not like it's a huge like divot in the in the in the drill, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm not going to mess with these drills anymore. Cause I I yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. So I'm gonna put these back in the bag, hopefully. Okay, and I will be right back. So it's definitely not as neat as it was. That is terrible, that is awful. I, I just, I cannot do it. So yeah, definitely, definitely uh, not as neat as that. <laughs> but uh, it'll do, it'll do, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll work. So I have to say, I am really impressed. As far as first impressions go, I, I am super impressed by this painting. I, I think it looks, I think it looks amazing. I think it's rendered very well. I think the drills are presented well. I totally messed up the, when I opened the bag though, because I didn't know they weren't all connected to each other, but that's okay. I mean, look how nicely they, they did that, even though I messed it up <laughs> with this one, but, the drills look pretty good. Um, obviously, I won't know the actual quality of this painting until um, I do it. It does not have scalloped ed edges, so it will fray unless I cut it and frame it. Um, but it is poured glue, which is amazing. There really isn't any branding, though, on the painting. The box isn't really branded. Um, it does say RDP at the top. Oh, wait, it is branded. I lied. There's a little royal crown next to here. I'm a liar. I'm a flat out liar. <laughs> it is branded. So it is a branded painting. It just doesn't have the scalloped edges. Um, but there's a lot of colors on here. It's poured glue. It looks incredible. I'm excited to get to this at some point. Um, and it honestly does not look that as big as I thought it would be. So I'm just going to check the size real quick so we're gonna see if this is a 70 by 70 painting um because for some reason it looks a little smaller it says it's 70 by 70 but let's 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 do it from let's do it from edge to edge here so it's 27 exactly so let's see what 27 inches is in centimeters because i can't convert it okay so it is a little bit shy of 70 centimeters it's 69 so it's only like a centimeter shorter so i would assume that if the whole if i did the whole painting it would be 70 but it seems from one end of the painting to the other end it is 70 centimeters the actual drill field though is only 68 almost 69 so the actual drill field is not 70 centimeters that's not a huge deal but she's going to look incredible she's going to look amazing and for some reason, I thought I was going to get the drills in baggies, but they didn't come in baggies. They came they came in like the same types of bags that um, the AliExpress paintings come in. 
but I feel like this is gonna look amazing. I feel like this is really gonna look incredible. You throw some ABs in here, girl. Girl, this will look amazing. Uh, I am very impressed. Um, I will have to do this. Um, I don't have storage for it. Every time I get a painting, I'm telling you, every time I get a painting, I'm like, I wanna do it now. <laughs> but I can't do it now. Um, but I will definitely have to do this soon because I would like to show you guys the quality of a royal diamond painting and see if we get the bang for our buck here. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This was fun. Um, I didn't have much to say except for a little bit about the company and my first impressions about the canvas. When we start doing this canvas, when I start doing this canvas, I will definitely have more to say in a post review. Um, for it. So thank you so much for watching. If you are considering checking out Royal Diamond Painting, they will be linked in the description below. If you are as impressed with the rendering of this painting and as impressed as the drill presentation, I'm telling you this got to me in in two weeks from the date I placed it to today when it came. So I'm very impressed by the speed, especially since this came from China. Um, again, they are not cheap, but it seems like it looks good quality but I won't know that until I actually start doing it so for the time being this is where I have to end um until I start the painting but I'm so excited about this image y'all I can't I can't and got a lot of colors in here the most colors I've ever worked with in a painting I hope you all have a lovely day today I hope you continue to spread positivity and creativity in your everyday lives and I will see you in my next video so I'm actually hopping back real quick because <laughs> I wanted to say that I was looking at this painting a little more and I realized that the darker symbols down here are really tiny and really hard to read. I didn't really get as good of a look at it. I thought they looked okay. Like these look fine, but you'll definitely, I will definitely need a light pad for this because it's the symbols are tiny. They're just tiny. And it seems a little difficult to read because they are so tiny. Um, I'm sure it'll be all right. I'm sure it'll be fine. There's some color blocking over here too that I didn't notice. I also noticed when I brought this out into the sunlight because I had to show my mom the painting, of course. I show her all my demo paintings that I get. Um, the canvas is a little sparkly. So just a few, just a few other things before um, I leave. Okay, bye. <laughs>